John Douglas here at Grass 10. We're here today at the Eddie Gavin's Receding for Profit event. Um, I suppose the idea is we're going to grow more grass and, and make more money. Receding is one way we can do that. Um, we, we see here there's a list of, of benefits that, that, receding, that receding can provide. I'm not going to go through them. But ultimately the thing to remember is that every additional one tonne of grass utilised on dairy farms is worth 173 euro and on dry stock farms is worth 105 euro per hectare. Um, by receding, we can see some of the costs here. We're looking in around sort of 300 euro an acre for receding. Um, you know, there's some things here that you might be able to do yourself. We, we have it all down on contractor costs. So in or around the 300 euro uh, per acre or 750 euro uh, to 800 euro per hectare of a cost. So um, from, from research that Chag has carried out down in Moor Park, we can, we can see that we can utilise an extra three tonne uh, with a new reseed that includes the perennial ryegrass versus the old permanent pasture swords. Um, but on most farms, if we can aim for an, an extra, an additional two tonnes of dry matter per hectare from each, um, uh, from, from receding. So if we're, if we're working off that basis, an extra two tonne, we're talking about uh, a return on investment in about, for about two and a half years for a dairy farm and for dry stock farms it's looking more like three and a half, four years. So I suppose that's one thing that we have to, to, to remember then and if we're looking over how do we get those benefits um, from, from, the, from the receding we need to have all these things done in, in first. So we need to have our, our soil fertility right, you know, only 15% of uh, soil is the optimum fertility in the country, we need to fix that first. Uh, we need to have a paddock system in place. Um, we need to have good infrastructure in terms of water, water roadways because again remember most of this grass is grown in the shoulders of the year so we need good infrastructure and a good paddock system to make the most of that additional grass. Uh, then we're, 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 once you have all these things sorted then we're looking at receding. You know these things have to be done first before receding. Uh, once we, after receding then to, to manage that grass right we need to use rotation planners so you know a spring rotation planner in the, in the start of the year your 20 day rotation in, in mid-season grazing and your, your autumn rotation planner in the autumn to get the most of this grass. Uh, and then if we're, if we're really you know, wanting to push that more than the two tons, we're looking at going out walking the farm at least once a week, estimating grass covers and using pasture base Ireland to, to get that. So ultimately the goal is to grow 14 tons and receding can help us do that if we do everything here right.